You are now listening to the Visit El Paso podcast, official podcast of Destination El Paso. I'm your host, Christy Couture, and this is episode 15 for September 2014. Welcome back to our podcast. In this episode, we'll interview Nahum Avila, an El Paso entrepreneur and founder of the Sun City Craft Beer Festival, which is happening on October 4th. I'll also give you Visit El Paso's top event recommendations for September and finish off with a little bit of local music from the Black Coats, whom you can check out live on the 20th of September at Monarch 204 East Rio Grande. A lot happened in August. The Plaza Classic Film Festival, the Sun City Music Festival, Fiesta de las Flores, the St. Nicholas Greek Festival, and so much more. We talked about all of these events in the last episode of the Visit El Paso podcast. And that's the goal of this show, to tell you what El Paso has to offer and how you can experience some real adventure in our awesome city. Make sure to subscribe to our show on SoundCloud, iTunes, or Stitcher Radio. So moving along to this month's interviewee, we wanted to make sure that you have all the 411 on the upcoming Craft Beer Festival. And so we got a chance to sit down with Nahum Avila, who's been quite the busy bee lately. He just recently announced a new coffee shop concept he's starting in the fall called The Coffee Box, and he's been all over town promoting the Sun City Craft Beer Festival. Hi, my name is Nahum Avila, and I am the uh, organizer for the Sun City Craft Beer Festival. Sounds good. Thank you for interviewing with us. Thank you for having me here. So this is now going to be the second year of the Sun City Craft Beer Festival. Now, the reason that you started the beer festival to begin with is because at some point, I'm sure you saw that the craft beer culture here in El Paso was kind of picking up speed. All right. Craft beer culture, it's, it's growing pretty uh, quickly here in El Paso. People are expanding their knowledge on, on, on beer, and they're willing to try different styles and, and different flavors. They're not they're not just uh, sticking with the regular beer that they used to drink, and I think it's great. It gives uh, people more options, and, and people are enjoying a little bit more uh, a cold one. When they're drinking. What do you have planned at this year's festival? We expanded the layout first of all. Uh, we're mm-hmm. taking over downtown now. We're we're taking out about uh, six streets now. Um, mm-hmm. One of the biggest things we're bringing is a gigantic inflatable tunnel, which will cover a whole street side to side. Uh, it will provide uh, shaded areas for all the people um, tasting their beers. Also, um, it's 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 actually right now on display the uh, the biggest craft beer refrigerator of the world. We uh, we introduced it this uh, past weekend. Right now it's displaying at Dunlop Park. Uh, it's 12 feet high, 8 by 8 length and, and long, and um, it's showcasing all the craft beers that will be available at the festival. Um, we're also bringing, uh, we're expanding now from one stage to two stages. Um, people love dancing and, and listening to music. Even though it's not a music festival, um, people really like the idea of enjoying music while they're tasting their beers. So we're introducing another stage, uh, where we're gonna bring eight bands, um, to, to play during the whole festival. Um, we're also, um, I'm stoked to see how these breweries now wanting to to come to El Paso to showcase their product. Um, we're gonna have a little bit over 50 breweries coming downtown and providing all their their beers for a positive taste. Oh, that's great! You have a lot planned this year. <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, we were really surprised how well people reacted last year. And, I mean, this festival is for El Paso, and what better than than expanding something that El Paso likes. Do you have a little bit of a preview of which bands we can expect at the festival this year? Um, We haven't announced them yet, but there are uh, local bands. Um, There are also a couple of bands coming from Austin. They heard about the festival. They're really excited to also expand their um, their fans, so they're they're making a trip here to El Paso to to introduce themselves and and to present their their music too. Very very cool.
cool. And how can people get involved with the festival? You know, can they volunteer? Um, you know, maybe can you tell me a little bit more about that homebrewing competition? Sure. Well, um, we're doing the second official competition, second year for homebrewing here in El Paso. People can enter their their homebrews um, up to 11 categories, um, and they can enter it up to, I uh, believe they still have like a month um, to to enter their, their homebrewing. Um, also, people can volunteer uh, at the festival. Uh, the deadline to volunteer is uh, September 15th. There are several shifts and several areas where people can volunteer. Um, if they volunteer, they get a, a really cool T-shirt, a free ticket, uh, a meal, and um, a lot more surprises. That uh, that it's it's like a thank you for them for for helping with the festival. Wow, that that definitely has its perks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we're very uh, uh, thankful with uh, with all the people that that would like to help us. And it's great to be thankful, you know, especially when it comes to the price of tickets. Now, the thing about the craft beer festival is that you always make it very affordable. Ticket prices are $25 right now. Um, the ticket prices are very affordable because this festival is for El Paso. I want to bring the opportunity for everybody in El Paso to to come to downtown and enjoy different flavors of different styles of beers. And so people will find out a little bit more about what craft beer is, and it's, it's just not a, a weird name on a bottle. It's more quality on the beers and more quality on what you drink, um, different flavors, like I said. And, I mean, we're going to have a bunch of uh, food trucks out there, um, games that will provide a fan, uh, fun. Um, we're gonna have a lot of band, uh, a lot of bands, like I also mentioned. That's a great price. I mean, you get to discover all sorts of types of beers. You get the bands. You get to play games just with the price of yes. the ticket. What else comes with the price of the ticket? I know last year um, you guys included a pint glass. Correct. Uh, we're also including a commemorative uh, pint, and uh, each person will get uh, ten uh, tastings with their ticket as well as access to uh, the areas and um, price mm-hmm. tickets are increasing on the first day of um, uh, September and mm-hmm. the day of the event. Wonderful. Well, I've certainly learned a whole lot about the new uh, and upcoming Sun City Craft Beer Festival. Now, how can people connect to you online? Uh, people can find us online. Um, they can go to sunsitycraftbeerfest.com. Um, they can go to Facebook uh, forward slash sunsitycraftbeerfest, or they can find us on Twitter uh, dot com slash uh, sunsitybeerfest. Sounds great, Nahuma. We can't wait for October 4th. We'll see you out there. Perfect. We'll see you guys over there, and I hope I can see you. Um, all downtown for a lot of people um, enjoying a, a cold one with us. Make sure to follow and like the Sun City Craft Beer Festival on social media for updates and clear your calendars for October 4th. We're looking forward to seeing a bigger, better beer fest in 2014 and hope you'll come check it out. There's also hotel specials, so make sure to head over to suncitycraftbeerfest.com. It's All Good is an El Paso state of mind. It's the true pulse of this community, and it's El Pasoans taking an active role in social media to encourage positive conversation about the Sun City. Here's a way for you to get involved and help share digital goodwill about El Paso. Join the El Paso It's All Good movement by signing up at itsallgoodep.com with your Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn accounts and help spread digital goodwill about the Sun City. After that, simply post content using hashtag itsallgoodep and you could be entered to win monthly prizes. Remember, the El Paso It's All Good movement isn't just about social media. It's also a state of mind, a message about all positive things that we can get excited about in our community. It's a great way to say, I love where I live. Do you have a business? Get your employees involved. We can come to your corporate meetings. Get your team signed up and hand out free It's All Good EP swag. Just let us know. Call us at 915-534-0600 
or email us at social media at destination El Paso dot com. The It's All Good EP movement has really taken off since it first started over a year ago. Just in August, our digital ambassadors have been spreading the good news, such as Forbes showcasing El Paso as a smart city that can teach marketers about marketing. UTEP was ranked as one of the 14 best universities, according to Washington Monthly. And that El Paso's outstanding outdoor scene made the cover of Dirt Rag magazine. You can check out it's all good ep.com to sign up to become a digital ambassador and to see more stories like this. Are you a fan of sports, both national and local? Well, be sure to tune in Sundays at riosradio.com live at 5 for your weekly dose of sports talk with the guys. Or catch the replay on iTunes at Stitcher by searching Rio Sports. And you can catch all of this only on Rios Radio. El Paso's newest source for music, sports, news, and entertainment. All right, so here's our top picks for things to do in El Paso this month. In between these events, there's hundreds more. And you can go online to visit elpaso.com or elpasolive.com to set up a custom itinerary. One of Spain's most respected rock singers, Enrique Bunbury, performs at 8 p.m. Wednesday, September 10th at the Plaza Theater. Tickets range from $39.50 to $79.50 and you can get them at Ticketmaster.com. Homegrown El Paso and 915 El Paso host the Beats and Eats Music Festival Saturday, September 13th at Ascarate Park, located on 6900 Delta Avenue, with two live music stages, food and drink, carnival rides, national DJs, and more. You can get more information on the exact lineup at epbeatsandeats.com. The El Paso Symphony Orchestra presents Arabian Nights, directed by Maestro Bohuslav Rate on September 19th and the 20th in the Plaza Theater. The performance will open the season for the symphony and selections include Rimsky-Korsakov's Scheherazade, Opus 35. Tickets are $15 to $40. You can get more information by calling 915-532-3776 or at epso.org. Iconic Grammy-winning guitarist Peter Frampton performs at 7.30 p.m. Tuesday, September 23rd at the Plaza Theater. This will be his first performance in El Paso since 2007. Tickets range from $55 to $85 and are available through Ticketmaster.com or by calling 1-800-745-3000. The Glory Road Glow Run 5K Run Walk event is a -a one-of-a-kind nighttime experience in celebration of the UTEP Centennial. It's less about how fast you run and more about enjoying the music-filled glowing course with your friends and family. All runners and walkers participating in the Glow Run 5K will receive the following items. A custom glow-in-the-dark finisher's medal, a Glow Run t-shirt, Glow Run items to ensure you glow on the course, entry to the post-race after party, and of course, one of the best glow experiences of your life. You can register online at gloryroadglowrun.com. The Monster Truck Show and Arena Cross, the nation's top motorcycle race series, comes to Cohen Stadium September 19th and 20th for round four of the Arena Cross Summer Series. With high-flying bar-to-bar action, this September stop on the tour will feature some of the nation's top professional and amateur Arena Cross competitors. Tickets are $10 for children ages 3 through 12, Adults, $12 general admission, and those with a military ID can get tickets for only $10. You can get more information on this event at facebook.com forward slash kickerax. 
History, legends, and lore come to life in downtown El Paso. The Ghosts 915 Paranormal Research Center at 108 East San Antonio is a paranormal museum, art gallery, and historic landmark inside the former Wigwam Saloon and Theater. Home of the Paso del Norte Paranormal Society, a nonprofit organization. We offer history and ghost tours, workshops, and come see our haunted collection. This September, we will introduce the Haunted Brothel Tour. Experience for yourself the shadows of the Old West and witness El Paso's sordid haunted past. Become the ghost hunter and investigate buildings with the only TAPS family affiliate in the Southwest. That's the Ghost 915 Paranormal Research Center in downtown El Paso. For more information, call 915-274-9531 or visit our website at ghosts915.com. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast on SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, iTunes, and even YouTube. In every episode, I spotlight some local music for you to discover. And this month, the featured band is the Black Coats, who will be performing live at Monarch 204 East Rio Grande at 10 p.m. on September 20th. Cover is only three bucks, and absolutely all proceeds from the show will go to the Reynolds Home, a shelter for homeless women and children. The name of this track is Commonwealth, and you can listen to this and other tracks by the Black Coats on bandpage.com and on Facebook by searching for them. Let us know what you think. Till next time, enjoy. Says it's for I thought I told 